There's one thing that stands between us and the harsh environment of space. Our atmosphere. The part of biosphere that sustains all life. But in the closest town to the North Pole, the atmosphere is slowly leaking away. NASA sent a team of scientists to launch rockets into this leak in order to better understand it. But the lack of atmosphere was not their major concern. Because the leak is a natural process that will take billions of years to complete. So we are not going to run out anytime soon. But it is part of a larger story that studies about how a planet's atmosphere changes over time which is inevitable in the quest for life on other planets. The island of Svalbard is one of the two regions that lies beneath near Earth's poles called the cusps. It's where we can access space. Directly and is also the same place where a hundred tons of atmosphere escapes into space each day. This escape gives clues to how long an atmosphere will last and ultimately whether it stays around long enough to sustain life. The NASA research team started an international mission to launch 12 rockets into the Earth's northern cusp. They are using a sounding rocket to conduct the study, which is different from the bigger rockets that carry satellites and humans into space. It's a small, suborbital rocket that flies briefly into space collects real-time data for around 15 minutes and then falls back to Earth. It is affordable, quick to build and can launch towards a precise point. But there's a limited launch window and only one chance to get the launch right. Because these are unguided rockets and they go where we point them unless the wind is blowing. Wind literally just blows them over. So these rockets can't be launched when there's high winds. So in order to measure the winds they launched balloons with GPS trackers. They were released every 15 to 30 minutes. Then they were monitored to see how fast the winds were carrying them. The mission was named Visualizing Ion Outflow via Neutral Atom Sensing 2 or in short, Visions 2. The study was to understand how oxygen was getting enough energy to escape. Actually it's a very good test of how atmospheric leaking works. Generally, Earth's gravity should hold on to the atmospheric oxygen and yet this gas was shooting off into space. Fortunately, anyone can see atmospheric leaking at the right place and time. In Svalbard, there's a phenomenon called polar night where it's dark for full 24 hours. This continual darkness is key for witnessing the atmospheric leaking. This is the cusp aurora. It's a type of northern light that appears between 8 in the morning and noon. And you can only see it when it's dark during the day. It looks similar to the aurora that occurs at night. But when these colors dance at this hour in the day, a hundred tons of oxygen escapes from Earth's atmosphere into space. The scientists have special instruments to find this aurora. When it's cloudy, they use radars to track the cusp. The cusp is actually not in a fixed point in space. It moves around. And what's controlling the cusp's movement is the interaction of Sun with Earth. Our planet is surrounded by a magnetic field that helps us hold on to our atmosphere. But at the North and South Poles, the magnetic field bends inwards, creating a corridor between Earth and space. So when energy is released from the Sun in the form of solar flares, all of that energy in the form of radiation rides down the magnetic field lines of the Earth and is transferred and dumped into the Earth's atmosphere. Due to this, electrons cascade into Earth's atmosphere. They accelerate and collide with oxygen particles thereby giving them energy to release light and sometimes enough energy to escape. Collectively, this forms the cusp aurora and streams of escaping oxygen. 
Solving this atmospheric puzzle is a story about what it takes to launch science instruments into space. But the real adventure will be the data they sent back. Hidden within the numbers will be answers that reach far beyond Earth, shedding light on how atmospheres throughout the universe change evolve and perhaps support life.